Hello guys and welcome back to Power and Revolution 2020 edition with our Israeli playthrough. In the last episode we went ahead and we got rid of unions. Well, we didn't get rid of all the unions. We just opted for a super union. The Israeli Unions Alliance. And I don't know if it's actually made up of all the combined members of all the other unions. I don't think so. The interest in unions probably isn't as favored now that there's only one. And resultingly, we now have a bajillion terrorist groups of the former unions, of which I've infiltrated quite a couple of them. And I've been in them for over a week, and they're very tiny. They have only 90-ish members, no power. So I think a week should be a long enough wait to go ahead and try to dismantle them. Hopefully I'm right. Otherwise, I mean, maybe we will have to wait longer. They're not very likely to catch us. But if a week is good enough, then a week is good enough, you know? And we have infiltrated a portion of them. Not a lot, but a portion of them. Maybe 25% up to 30 or something. We also got another weekly economic calculation. And oh my god, the effects of the gas pumps that I put down. The effects were still just rolling in. Our growth is at 4.35%. That is insane. And unemployment is at 3.44%, very healthy rate. I'm amazed inflation isn't growing faster than this now, now that our growth is this much higher. Not that this amount of growth is bad, but usually inflation trails growth, which is why I'm amazed that it's not happening. If it ever does trail after growth too much, well, it'll be easy to deal with it. I'll just raise the interest rate. But because right now, as things stand, the interest rate is only at 0.10%. It's not even at 1%. It's at a tenth of a percent. I'm just amazed that the inflation since the start of the game, like over a year ago, has only gone up about a 20th of a percent, I think. About that much, if even. And here's an auto save. One thing I'm going to do that may get me kicked out of the World Trade Organization for all I know is I'm just going to put a measly, it's very measly, $1 million into subsidizing the water supply networks of the country just to ensure that it's always, probably anyway, slowly but surely growing because you saw last episode I was reviving all the farming industries that were completely shut down. If we want our farming things to grow, we need to make sure we have enough water. We can always import it, but this is an important thing to be self-sufficient on because this leads to a whole bunch of other industries and the industries that it leads to tend to lead to the other industries that this does not lead to one way or another. It's always pretty important. We got some anti-terrorism boosts. Uh, let's see what that's from. So it's not from this, this is just about inequality. All right, that's one terrorist group down. Our infiltrated agent was... Uh, that's another agent murdered. That's some gamers crying about slow internet. How slow is my internet? If it, I swear to God, if it's actually fast, I'm going to be real mad at you. Where is it? Uh, equipment and communication. Average internet speed. Average internet speed in megabits. Okay? In megabits megabits that's not megabytes so that like the normal person has oh my god what that doesn't make any sense megabits a second average speed you, i have 400 megabit internet in real life what do you mean the average speed is 14,559 what does that even mean how, how do you have internet that fast? That's... What? That's like... 15 almost gigabits. Who the hell has 15 gigabit internet? I don't even have impressive stuff set up. Look at it. Look, look. I have mobile telephones, not even full coverage of broadband and some 4G and that's literally it. Can you tell me who has 15 gigabit internet? I feel like they fucked those numbers up. They were actually accurate in 2019. Oh, Let's see. Agent dies. One of my men succeeds. Agent infiltrates. One of my men. Agent infiltrates. Agent dies. Agent infiltrates. Agent dies. Okay. We're going to have a lot of that. This whole episode, for all I know, 
is literally just going to be trying to infiltrate all of these terrorist groups and bring them down. We seem to have gotten rid of a couple of them. Organization being dismantled. I've only seen that we've gotten rid of one, but the list does feel shorter. Anyway, so about a week from now will be like the 12th, around the 12th or 13th or 14th, somewhere around there. I'm going to want to send some more of these agents in, the ones that just got infiltrated. I'm once again getting another alert about how I decreased my salary, which is weird, but it's it's good to see that you guys think well of me. Wow, the president of my party does not like me nearly as much as he used to. But at least he likes my salary. Our infiltrated agents. Uh, dead. Our inf dead. Our inf dead. Our inf dead. One of my Alive. One of Alive. Our dead. Okay. This, these were infiltration attempts, I hope, and not actually people that were mid-mission. Our infiltrated agent. Another dead one. Oh my god, we're gonna need uh shut up, you non-monogamous piece of shit. This is Israel. We're Jewish. I'm pretty sure that Jews are monogamous. Uh, some of these feel like they have less members already, despite not they shouldn't. We have lost like 30 agents already. <laughs> I'm just gonna hire another 200 agents because uh, we're gonna need them. We're gonna need him. And hey, it gives me a little popularity boost, but it might it may eat into my budget. Right now our budget excess is good. I really don't know where this budget excess came from, because we didn't have a budget excess at the end of the previous year. I was back into a deficit just trying to stay alive. We just crossed like 50% popularity. Like we're not even recovered from putting everyone into one big union. However, have you noticed a single strike or anything since then? Nope. It's worked wonders. Nobody's complaining anymore. I mean, the associations may still end up complaining, but the unions are the biggest part of it. No one's, com now that we've survived that, nobody's complaining anymore. And that is awesome. So I know what I said last episode about the population. I know what I said. But I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to promote contraception now rather than just leave it at authorized. I have a number of reasons for doing this, honestly. First and foremost, I just, I need to get my popularity up, and this is super cheap, and I'm pretty sure it helps human rights, which helps the way people look at things in the country anyway. Another thing is just that, if we look at the population, if we look at the poverty rate, or and all this other crap, and we look at the way that the population spikes the year you start playing for whatever reason, I'm just remembering that when you do conquer countries, your population spikes like crazy, and I'm going to assume they haven't fixed the birth rate bug, where in 2019 it just increases crazy amounts per country you take over and then just gets worse and worse and worse. Well, I'm just going to start early while I can and while I need popularity and have an excuse to go ahead and put in uh, contraception promotion just so that we're ready for that. So long as I maintain a positive population growth, it's fine. And I doubt it's going to go negative. We have some immigration, too. I, I just don't. It, it's Good fine. Morning. I did the leader of Norway did ask for a meeting with me. He wants to purchase some fowl for me. Everyone wants to purchase fowl from me. I'm starting to make more fowl, as you can see. It's because of how much I'm selling. So, one zero no one eight zero eight point seven six. Let me match your purchase price and then see if you're willing to negotiate. All right. You're willing to go down to 1582. What about 1710? 1710? No. 1600? I'd like to get you a little higher than where you are. Really? You're going to bargain me down by two and a half dollars? Not even. Sure. Whatever. You can get your fucking foul at your weird ass discount. I'm still making more of a profit. Uh, let's offer you that. You want a non-aggression pact? No, they never want a non-aggression pact. To get any treaties with anybody, you basically need to be dark green with the country and especially the leader. It's really weird. So it went through. The family's not happy about contraception for whatever reason. International meetings, so they're happy that I met with Norway. And then women's rights are happy because apparently condoms are women's rights. But the right to be a prostitute is against women's rights. Okay, so availability of birth control. 
That is a right, apparently, for women. Yes, okay. And then having the right to pick a certain job profession, that is not a right. Women's rights are so fucking confusing. They're not even rights. They're just preferences. They're just like, what the fuck? Anticipate the tensions. You're, are you kidding me? Because I'm promoting contraception, you don't feel free and safe? Really? Are Really? Are you kidding me? <laughs> my men succeeded. Oh my god, alright, so we got more of this infiltration bullshit happening, and of course it's not going well. Hooray for drones, what else? Yeah, I, I never sent in those other guys that were already infiltrated, by the way, to dismantle, so let's try and narrow those guys down real quick. We got 20, here we go, 5, 5, 6... Six? That's a lot of them. If all of those got dismantled, we'd be much better off. Organization being dismantled. Organization infiltrated. Infiltrated. Okay, so most of those are now new. Uh, we gotta still infiltrate a bunch. I don't actually know how many of these things we've taken down. The messages always just spam right on through. It even feels like it skips some because it's spamming them. Uh, no, I already got you. Just make sure they're all being infiltrated. All right, and what's what about the mafia? They're still being infiltrated. Okay, Jesus Christ. Oh yeah, I, I tried to apply for something just to see, but my geographical location's not correct. And we have so many agents being murdered. I increased the training and everything. Come on, guys, get better at your job. Wait, who's being murdered? I must have just not gotten those alerts in time and I already replaced all the ones that were murdered. See, it's, I, I don't even know when I'm getting like all of these fucking alerts because there's so many that they have to enter a queue. Open the door to democracy. Uh -huh. You're telling me not a democracy just because your Congress doesn't have rights? Listen, it's not all about your Congress. You're just supposed to have elected representatives. I am your representative. I am the government. High speed rail network could still be improved, notably. Yeah, that is true. Except with the key problem is that all of our neighbors hate us except Jordan. And so actually doing a rail network between countries would be problematic, especially when you consider the fact that all the countries around us are probably broke ass bitches. Until we border, like, Turkey and make them love us, or we border... No, Iraq's poor. Turkey is in a terrible economic situation, if I remember correctly. Uh, let's see what's their situation. That's my situation. Their unemployment's very high. Their growth is low. Their inflation is high. Yeah, they probably wouldn't even agree to that anyway. There's nobody around me that would agree to that, because I'm Israel, and I'm in the middle of anybody and everybody that hates me. I would have to, like, expand into Europe somehow, you know, take over fucking Monaco. Where is it? It's Monaco, right? Yeah, Monaco. Take over. I can't believe I remembered that name. Monaco over here. And then set something up with these countries. But even then, they don't like me. Oh, I know. I'll take over Kaliningrad. So we're getting rid of more of these terrorist groups. Uh, the law on contraception's just gone through. The family is still upset. Women's rights are still happy. Electoral promises are once again randomly happy. Uh, women are happier with me now overall, so that's good. The family's still pretty happy, so I'd say that's pretty much a win-win right there. As you can see, the pace at which our inflation has been going up has actually increased now that our growth is so high, so I think it's time to get our current interest rate out of its very teeny tiny state to another pretty teeny tiny state, let's say to start, up from a tenth of a percent to a quarter of a percent, because... This is still under the default minimum that you can change it to immediately, but it's still more than doubling it from its current spot. So this should help keep inflation in check. It may impair growth a little bit. Either way, the results will be fine because we have a lot of growth and not a lot of inflation. This is more of a initial precautionary measure so that in case I do need to raise the interest rate, it doesn't have to be as drastically as once, because that could have more negative effects than preparing for it this way. So I realize all these terrors have gotten me distracted from the industry stuff I was working on last episode, so I've gone ahead and put one manpower into Colza to try to revive it. 
I'm also going to go down to rice and nationalize that so we can try to revive that. Though I'd be surprised if we could grow rice here. I mean, if we could, then that's cool, I guess, but that's not really what I'd expect. One thing to pay attention to is that with every year, dilapidated housing is created. We're going to go ahead and just immediately spend money on getting rid of all of our dilapidated housing because if we look in the world, the AI usually keeps their own dilapidated housing pretty non-existent. So I might as well go ahead and do the same. I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of trained not to even look at this and do this because back in Geopolitical Simulator 2, Rulers of Nations, whenever you put manpower into rehabilitating things in general like houses, then those manpower actually got kind of locked up and you could never access them again, no matter how long you waited. So you could have unemployment through the roof, a building sector that was amazing, yet you'd have no manpower to build or do anything. It was awful. Thankfully, they fixed it. But let me tell you, you think this game is buggy. Oh, you should have seen me playing Rulers of Nations and Masters of the World. Dude, it was worse. It was so much worse. Getting four years into a game without it completely breaking with bugs was very rare. Now, there's some people that get 20 years in. That's insane. I never would imagine that. Anyway, what's in the paper? Let's, let's stop talking about the bugs for a second. Let's, let's look in the paper and try to find anything interesting. No, sadly nothing. I don't know why I say sadly. Like, well, What would be interesting in the paper? War? And if it was war, why would I look for it in the paper? I would see it pop up on the map. Like, there's conflicts happening all over, but like, I mean like a war. Like, you know, North and South Korea going to war with each other again. And the terrorists are being dickheads. Well, boys, the Colza sector's up and running again. That's real good. I'm thinking of randomly just putting a little bit more money into sports here. So I'm just gonna, this is nothing. Half a mil, almost into getting scout movements from no stars to two just so I can spend something in a way that would make people like me a little better. Let's go to farming and let's go to Colza and we're going to want to take the nationalization down to minority shareholder. I set rice to become fully nationalized and I actually got a negative hit to popularity from doing it, which is interesting. That's the first negative hit from nationalizing something. Maybe they're just sick of my shit. I don't know, but I do, yeah, now I got a positive boost, weird, so yeah, that's, that's unusual. I do want to keep this trend going because I like to get more and more of these economies online, if at all possible, if they can be put online. Let's put sugar under the control of the state as well, only one by one. I know you can do bills and put them all together or reforms, put a bunch of bills in it and then get it by smoother, but... I'm just trying to avoid evoking a reaction, really. That's all I'm trying to do. Nationalization is going through. Yeah, you see? Negative hit from state employees is happening now whenever something gets nationalized. That's interesting. And it's not self-sustainable, I'll tell you that much. Let's go ahead and put one manpower into rice. Ooh. That's pricey. That's pricey. Um... Damn, that would be an investment, all right. Sure, sure, let's, that hurts. Let's go ahead and try that. Rice must be a big ass industry for it to cost that much just to throw one manpower into it. At least I'll be getting rid of it and then maintaining it won't be my problem, but god damn. What is the fucking numbers when it comes to it? Let's see. WTO threatens Israel with exclusion. It doesn't modify its policy. Oh, I am going to get kicked out of the, war, the World Trade Organization. Now that I'm nationalizing and denationalizing things, the World Trade Organization hates when you nationalize shit. Hates it so much. It is going to kick me out without a doubt. I fully expect it and, and completely see it coming. Uh, we have a lot of... Yep. Yeah. Agent stuff here. Oh, woo. Nope. Terrorist threats. Always terrorist threats. The list of terrorist organizations, as you see, is a lot tinier than it was. Uh, when was this? The 24th, so now. Uh, the 9th. Anything from the 9th we're going to want to put into dismantlement mode, which is three things. 
We're still trying to infiltrate the Russian mafia. It's not nearly as fast to succeed or fail as these smaller things. But as you see, look at that. We're actually getting through them pretty well. I swear to you, I am not getting a, a, an alert for every single one of these things that I dismantle. I'm just dismantling them. Unfortunately, that one manpower was not enough to open the rice sector. Hopefully the next amount of manpower does not cost as much as the first because that first one hurt. It says it didn't open, but it looks like it's open. Yeah, it looks like it's open. All right, the rest after this is real tiny. That's good. Let's get this up to 10 manpower and let's see if it claims that it opens up then. Because if it does, then we can just go get this out from under our belt ASAP, sell our shares in it, get some of that money back and get some more income. The unemployment is going up, which is really interesting. With a growth this high, I'm very surprised that the unemployment is going up, like, at all. So the sugar industry is now nationalized. I'm going to set it up to one manpower to see if we can get it going again. Got a slightly positive boost from anti-terrorism. I swear to God, every time I get those boosts, and I've gotten them quite a bit, I'm pretty sure that is when I dismantle their uh, their groups here. Popularity decrease for the head of state. Marred by chief of staff of the armed forces scandal. What happened to his mouth? In prison for 11 months. Corruption. What the hell? China put one of their own in prison? And then there's a scandal from it? How can there be a scandal in China? It's China. Their media is under lock and key. So we're moving over into the next quarter. The rice and sugar sectors are both up and running again. That's really awesome. Something we were nationalizing went through and we had a 2.12 billion surplus that quarter. Seems to be in line. Our public debt is going down. As you can see, it's finally under its value uh, from when we started the game. It's finally gone under that value which should hopefully mean that our debt reimbursement is better than ever. I mean, our interest rates, what the hell? It says we don't even have an interest rate, but that can't be true because if we didn't have an interest rate, then we wouldn't be paying debt reimbursement. That's <laughs> what? <laughs> the reimbursement's coming out of my surplus. It's not coming out of this. This is for interest. So there's clearly some kind of interest. We can't just have zero percent. That's not how that works. What the fuck, game? I don't know. Happiness declines, yada yada. What's the new situation? Inflation still going up a tiny bit. Growth still holding steady. All right, so for the sake of our currency, let's go up another little bit to 0.5% for the interest rate. That should help with that situation a little more without being too intrusive on our economy. So during the 2019 edition, whenever you built a solar plant, even if it said it was only gonna give you like, you know, two or three terawatt hours, it pretty much always gave you more like 20. I have learned just by building solar plants, essentially, that that is no longer the case. At least this was the case when you built ones that went on the map, like wind and solar. Maybe it still works for wind, I'm not sure, but I can see that it doesn't work for solar. So potentially, if this is like completely fixed, and I mean, I don't think we have anywhere good to test wind. Yeah, just average. I, I'd like to test it on good or very good. We don't have anything like that, not unless we go for offshore wind. I still like to test it on wind, but it does seem like for power, there may be little to no advantage to actually picking solar over something else. Like this is 1.4 billion over five years for two. What if we tried to get two out of this? Uh, it's a lot more expensive to get hydroelectricity or, let's see, this can go exactly to two. But yeah, it's a lot more expensive to build hydroelectricity or literally anything that does not have to be placed on the map Pretty much anything that you do place on the map is a lot cheaper than the things that you don't place on the map. I do see we have one biomass and I want to discourage cutting wood so we're going to actually dismantle that. Uh, we're going to keep making our solar plants for the time being I guess. We have plenty of space to just kind of toss it around for right now. Wherever it lets us build these 
It uh, It is picky about how close you build things together, though. I can just barely squeeze something else in, like, over here by the looks of it. So I think I'm going to toss in another solar plant for the time being just to keep us ahead of our consumption. Right now, we're just matching our consumption. So, And it's going up at, like, a steady rate, so I just kind of want to keep up with that. That's a still pretty hefty price, though. If you think about over five years, I'm committing to spending 1.5 bill just to get that much power, and look how fast it's going up. That's kind of surprising. I wonder how much does it cost? Oh my god, fossil energy costs even more to construct and even more to use. Huh. Well, I won't have enough space in my country to just plant solar plants literally all over the place or anything like that. That's just not going to be a thing. You know, a naval base down here would be smart. A naval base down there would be very smart. And I'm actually kind of tempted to build one. That's kind of off topic. Like, this doesn't have anything to do with naval bases. But a naval base down here could be... Can I not even build a navy base down here? No, I can't. I can't because I don't own any of this ocean, any of this water. Yeah, I don't own any of it. So Egypt owns this part. And Jordan, I guess, owns this touch. And then Saudi Arabia owns this part. So I actually can't make a port down here. Well, that's kind of sad. That would have been a very strategic place for us to build a port. Like, you know, like a, a Navy base. Did I select the right thing? Like, can I really not make a port down there? Yeah, no. Wow, that's so fucking rude. Well, all right. That's fine, I guess. Fuck you too. In that case... Uh, can I make a actual regular port down there? No, I can't use any part of this. That's really sad. So, you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to go ahead. I'm going to place another solar plant right down there because I can squeeze one more in down here. I'm sure my actual placement of this is not the best. It could almost definitely be better than how I have it in order to squeeze more into one space wise but eventually we'll have so much land it won't even be a problem it's not like i'm planning on filling my whole country up with solar plants i'll i'll do a mixture at some point everything okay uh yes actually apply our program oh you're you're upsetty that i'm not applying the party program don't worry i'll come for your rights next sure i'll meet with the leader of india why not departure of some enemies what is this that i didn't read electric versus gasoline you know how many times the AI has told me about electric versus gasoline? Let's go into our secret service and look at this. So we failed to infiltrate the Russian mafia, but look at this, guys. We are down to only three of those union terrorist groups left. They're just that weak. We're tearing them down piece by piece like it's nothing. I still need to get my popularity up. How much money do I have? I have a decent amount of budget excess, decent amount. My growth is still amazing. My inflation is still slightly going up. That's concerning. I don't want to do things necessarily that would affect that. Let me just go ahead and put one more tick into... Oh, man, that's so pricey. One more into help for employing seniors because I do want to directly work on unemployment specifically. Not necessarily growth, but I know that does affect growth. Otherwise, I would put that up to max stars, quite frankly. But that should maybe give a little bit of a popularity boost, maybe. And let's see what other spending we can increase here. So if I match everything up here to this amount of stars. All right, sports for the handicap, national youth scout movements. Uh, what if we go one beyond that? All right, see, that got us a 1.6 boost. Social, old folks, and employment gave us some boosts. This is pretty cheap right here. Let's go ahead and do that. Get a bunch of the stars up. Uh, this one I fucked up, so get there. So now all the stars are at least to here. That should end up giving us a small little boost. Didn't cost very much money. Also tempted. How much does this next set of stars cost? How much does this next set of stars cost? A little bit more. All right. I'm going to do this too. We're going to go down the sports disciplines path. That gave us only a, a bare, bare minimum boost, that increase in funding. I'm going to go down the disciplines and just put another two stars into everything. The reason for this is not just to make people happy, in case you didn't realize that that is 
the main reason why I'm doing this, but because when you start getting sports medals, when you start winning sports championships, same thing with culture and culture competitions, you start getting recurring popularity boosts that help maintain you around the top. So even though the actual boost you get to it immediately may not be the highest, it is definitely worth it in the long run. Uh, would it be so expensive to bump things up to here? Well, that would be that would would be a touch more expensive. Yeah, um, I don't want to do that all in one. Let's just leave that alone for now. We can go ahead and increase the interest rate again, which I am going to do because our inflation is not stopping. Our growth really isn't being affected at all. We want to find a stable point so that we can find a stable for, point for our um, our currency. So that it doesn't get you know overinflated or anything and so that the value of it as opposed to how it's exchanged to dollars or to euros becomes favorable at least to where we want it as it stands the euro and the dollar are both exceeding our currency and its value even though the euro as we see right here is overtaking the dollar they're both overtaking us we're not even keeping up with the dollar but that's because our interest rate was so low and our tax on financial transactions was so little well I have this set up now, so hopefully that should help. Uh, yeah, interest rate increase. Hopefully that should help with the whole situation. We might have to raise it to a higher amount, which we have the leeway to do now that our growth is so high. For now though, guys, we have a nice full episode. We've gotten rid of almost all the terrorist groups, which makes me really damn happy. We're accomplishing a lot, our popularity is going up. I think this was a nice productive episode. I think that's the first time I've said that this whole playthrough. I said that like non-stop during the China playthrough. Thank you all for watching this episode and I'll see you on the next one.